Hello, everyone. I'm Deadpool. And of course, you know, um, I'm sorry, who are you today? Are you Benedict? Are you Doctor Strange? Are you Genghis Khan? Are you Sherlock Holmes? I am here against my will. Well, that's good. Hey, everybody, it's Barbara. And with the assistance of Deadpool and the against his will Benedict Cumberbatch, Cumberbunch, Cumberbatch, He's got three franchises. Don't worry about him. Thank you, Deadpool. So anyway, with their help, I'm going to review uh, what I thought was going to be an interesting uh, review of a medical setup. And I have to tell you, folks, uh, I usually don't like being starting off with a whole lot of negatives. But unfortunately, we got to talk about the base of this set. Uh, this is a medical set that is called... happy hospital and I gotta tell you it's not so happy and if this was a hospital you need to immediately check out uh, first of all I don't have it on my hands anymore because I wiped it off right away but you do have to put the bed together and as I did that um, the the paint was coming off in my hands and then it was coming off in my brother's hands because he had to bang a part of the bed together um, this is supposed to be an IV stand that works in principle. It stands pretty well. You can have two IVs going if you have them from different uh, G.I. Joe sets. And it's supposed to be adjustable by this uh, screw here. But the thing is, there's no place on this for the screw to screw in. And again, the paint is starting to come off. So this is not terribly impressive. Uh, and then there's this monstrosity. This is supposed to be one of those old fashioned hospital curtains. Um, I will insert in here the pictures so you can see uh, that the hooks were originally painted together I had to take a hobby knife to separate them. And then you are supposed to attach the curtain uh, by these little holes here. I'm not sure if you can, yeah, you can see that there are holes here. Uh, and there's, and I, and I guess if you have the patience of three saints and very small fingers, you might be able to get them on the hooks and have it stay. I couldn't do that. Um, totally defeats the purpose of having it. Um, I will tell you that this is actually, for all the, the shittiness of the bad paint, this is actually pretty soft fabric. It's actually some of the softest fabric I've ever felt, so I might try to repurpose the curtain for something. Um, the As I was saying before, the two guys had to make an extended cameo. Uh, the bedding is pretty soft. The pillowcase is removable, but not very because it's got like a pad or something in here. Like I said, this is sort of like a duvet. The mattress pops out. You pop it in like so. And there's a top sheet. You could almost actually use the blue as a second top sheet if you were so inclined. So you could repurpose it that way. I also wanted to show you that this is supposed to work as a bed lift, except I'm not entirely sure where you would, unless you can leave it like that, but I don't see an action figure it holding. Well, let's see. There goes the mattress. Here comes Benedict. Well, it's holding. And, uh, yeah, so maybe that will work. It's 
give. Yeah, there you go. You've had a hard day. There you go. Pampered celebrity with multiple franchises. It also came very interestingly with your typical blue striped pajamas. Not sure about the fabric because, as I said, the, the curtain was really nice. Um, interestingly, this is supposed to close with buttons, but they're very tiny. So this may make people cry. It's not lined, but for what it is, like an incidental to uh, a playset, it's not terrible. At least the shirt isn't. And the trousers are elastic, though the legs are a little bit short. So I'm guessing this would not work on a super tall, or work well, I should say, with a super tall action figure. It also, this set also comes with a little courtesy cabinet to put stuff in. And as you can see here, again, the paint job is not spectacular. There is a drawer, which I just pulled out, because this is the IV for the IV stand, and you would think if we have an IV, there would be tubing to go along. There isn't. There is, however, this piece of sewing string, which I would guess is about six to eight inches long. And I'm supposed to weave that through the IV and then tie it to the IV pole. Me thinks that's a negative. Now, what I also meant, excuse me, you're boring everybody. Um, I need to come back in here now, please, because, you know, I make everything so much better. All right, Deadpool. I'll let you come back in. Ugh. There you go. You want a foot massage? No, I do not want anything from you. Well, that's not neighborly. You do know I'm going to be taking over Stanley's cameos, right? <sighs> yes, I know. I'll try to be a little happier about it. It's not the worst thing that could happen. It's pretty damn close. All right, guys, cut it out. So anyway, a while back, I ordered this uh, from Toys Engine, and these are the boxes it came in, and it says very nicely, I stay at work for you, so you stay at home for us. These are, well, this is the work of Delilah. Uh, these are first responder kits. And this is from the company Toy Engine. And uh, there were a series, even though the numbers start at three, and at eight, you can see that there were six sets, of which I have sets five and six three, and four. So I'm going to pause here. I'm going to see what's in these boxes because I've been waiting a while to open them because I wasn't sure how appropriate it would be to open these with everything that's been going on. But I'm going to open them now. And I'm also going to open parts of this Remend set, which is called Drugstore, that has uh, several different items in it. Um, the mom, a set called Thermometer, a set called Bath Goods, a set called Toilet Paper, a set called math, Mouthwash, a set called Cosmetics and Hand Wash, a set called Supplements, and a set called Mask. So I'm going to open this set later, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to split these between this hospital set and a bath set that I have. So let's pause here, and let's start with the toy engine sets. So sets three and five apparently are the same, and what you get is a overall suit, which you would see is a decontamination suit that pretty much covers all of your face up. You get the surgical gloves and if I had the patience and it would work, 
you're supposed to put the elastic over the gloves, but I'm also not terribly sure of how well I secured the hands. These are definitely gloved hands. So you will have to take the hand action figure the sorry, the hands off the action figure. Interestingly, as you can see, the shoes, which are rubber, uh, go on regular feet. So if you have you don't if you have clip-on feet, you're gonna have to take the feet off the ankle, or you don't need to take the feet off, you can just very easily slip these overshoes on. It also comes with a face shield, and it full actually says full face shield in English, interestingly enough. And there's elastic in the back, though I will say getting it on Benedict's head, uh, because he has the Sherlock hair, was a little tricky. It comes with an N95 mask. Let's go ahead and see um, if I can, in fact get that on Benedict's face. The zipper tends to stick, so you're going to have to be very careful with the zipper, by the way. As you can see, Sherlock here, so this might not work, but ideally this mask should go over his nose and mouth. And it mostly does. You have to adjust the elast. Oh, did one, and the, one of the elastics already just broke. How nice. And I don't necessarily blame Toy Engine. I blame his hair, but it does come with that elastic. It also comes with a gun thermometer, which you should be able to grasp in one of these hands. So it does fit in the hand, and then you would be able to take temperature with it. Let's see if I can get the hand back on. It's kind of hard to see, but I think I got it. There we go. So what's Deadpool's temperature? Uh, 36.8. Oh, man, that's what I get for taking an ice bath. It's Celsius, you moron. So that's that. Now, this is, by the way, how everything comes packaged. The isolation, the shoes, the gloves in the N95, and the thermometer. Little difference here, this thermometer has purple trim, the other one had blue. So as I said, uh, three and five were the same. Four is a bit different. Four are um, a medical chart with a red pen and good old fashioned surgical suiting. So let's pause again here, and we will see how it looks. Okay, when I said that this was a traditional uh, hospital setting, I meant it because uh, this actually ties in the back. It closes at the top with uh, Velcro, and it ties in the back. Um, does come with a stethoscope, as you can see, with a rather long cord here. Let me undo that for you. No, 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 leave it where it is. 
I want to hear the sound of how excited I am. Jesus, Deadpool, this is not... Okay. Me too, Deadpool. Yeah, tell that to Weinstein and Cosby. <laughs> anyway, also comes with booties for his shoes. Ah, uh, Calgon, take me away. Interestingly, the shoes he comes with happen to match the Deadpool costume, but were not meant to. They are, again, um, booties that you can just slip on. These are these are almost like black galoshes, so these are kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool. And unfortunately, I couldn't put this on Deadpool uh, because the cowl does not have ears, but you have the standard surgical mask. Again, another face shield and some more gloved hands. So that's everything in box number four. And the last one, box number six, which was Delilah's box. By the way, you will not be able to reuse these boxes, and not just because my cat ate one. Uh, there is no resealing mechanism. So you're going to have to just like bunch these up. And this appears to be yet another, this is probably for women. I suspect one is for men and one is for women, but the shoes are the same. Face shield again. So you can really kit out your medical scene. Um, again, the surgical scrub set, booties, shield, and gloves and stethoscope. This evidently does not, however, come with um, a notepad, so that might be the only difference. Or my cat ate it. Take your pick. Um, so, this is actually a pretty cool little set. These are a cool little set to get from Toy Engine, and I will put the link in the description below for you. Um, to do that, and evidently, by the way, I just found this. There's also, um, there's a head cap and shoe caps. So one of these was supposed to go on his head. Let's see. They're all, okay, this one looks a little bit bigger, so. As I was saying, um, this are, these are pretty cool little sets. So, I definitely would check out the toy engine sets, but unfortunately, guys, I'm going to have to say you definitely will need to skip the uh, this this happy hospital set because it's just it just it's just not worth it. It's not there's the bed is the bed is kind of okay, but everything else just is so disappointing. I would totally skip it. So let me give him his little tisket a tasket so he can find his Easter basket. I here I am, ready to perform surgery on the Dead series, which is the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Because, you know, without Mr. Musical, we ain't going nowhere. Thank you, Deadpool. Let's pause again here. Try to make everybody else in the Cinematic Universe feel better. And we will commence with... The, those remint items, uh, that might actually be appropriate. Um, and we will commence again with the remint items. Uh, that would be appropriate for a hospital setting. Okay, so just so you can see, uh, typical, typically when you're buying the Remant blind box, it's going to look something like this, and then you, of course, get on either side. What you might be getting, you won't know until you open it. So I got lucky, and it just so happened I pulled mostly the right ones uh, to open. So let me show you uh, what we have here. On the bed, I put what is what looks to be like a credit card, but is actually um, your insurance card. And if you can see it in 
Benedict's hand, it is just about the right size for that. And for some reason, they also got, and I'm not sure how this works, if this is supposed to be like the chocolate candies or the whatevers that you would buy in a drugstore, but you have these two little wrapped lozenges, maybe, one in a, one, oops. I'm going to put one in one hand, oops, it won't even stay in his hand. I'm going to put it in his hand and then move the camera to the hand. One is silver and one is bronze. And then, like any other drugstore nowadays would have, you have a little package of paper masks. This is empty. You have the sanitary wipes. Open it this way. And it does come with that lid that if you, this does not work, but if it would, you would be able to like pull it out. This is some kind of supplement like x -Lax, and I say that because did a lousy job clipping these out, but if you can see it, there's like a there's like a brown pill in there, and it's like x -Lax. It's the first time I've ever had to use um, my brother's um, copy clips to get these out. Now, unlike Zuru brands, when you get a box, there's actually something in the box. And I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Maybe it's something like their version of NyQuil. And of course, you know you can get vitamin water. some kind of energy drink in a little cream box. Head on, head on, headache pain pad. Juice drink box. And again, the ream and, and the basket, which can actually hold, unlike the Zuru's, can actually hold a lot more stuff. If you notice, I also set up on the table a few other things. This is some kind of tonic, oolong tonic. Tissues, of course. The tissues do not come out, they're plastic. Some other kind of pain patch that you would disperse out. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. This is again, this is a case where this time there is a mask inside, but it is non, I would not, I would say it's non-functioning as a mask. We have kids' hand wash, adult hand wash, medical grade hand wash.
some other kind of tonic. And then in the drawer we have This is a nose spray. I'm not sure what, I guess this is sort of like a gauze pad or something else, again, headache relief pad. These are, this is a box of pills and there are actually pills in there. Let me go get them. Deadpool. What? This one is full. This one is missing five pills. I've been standing here all day. What did you expect me to do? I don't know. Be normal. So, since Deadpool already took some drugs, I'm going to have Benedict demonstrate the rest. Oh, really? Well, you know, I, I lived the stone cold sober life. Yeah, okay, whatever. So, whoops. Let's see. Put those there. The nose, as you can see, it fits very nicely in the palm of his hand. I've never, I've never used a nose thing like this, so I have no idea if that's the right size. Um, these look a little small but just a little bit small for a, a collection of tablets. That's about the right size for, you know, a normal size of, open up his, I'll put his hands like this. That's about the normal size for wipes. And for a tissue box. Like a small, not not like a family size, but that's that's a little off scale. I'll have to say a little too small. That's kind of like a travel size, I would have to say, for hand soap. Though the hand sanitizer is about right. Vitamin water is a perfect fit. And whatever this is, the Pucci yogurt cup, that's a little small. That's more like a dairy creamer size. And there's one more thing to show you all. Now, previously we had how people these days are taking temperatures with a gun. But look what we have here, ladies and gentlemen. The old standard thermometer. Ooh, ooh, please, please. Can I, can I take my temperature? Oh, certainly, Deadpool. I was so hoping you'd ask. No, God's sakes, Barbara, don't do it. I'm sorry. I just had to go there. Why did you stop her? I was like, the first time I was going to get any in like, I don't know, two movies? You're a sad man, Deadpool. Sad, lonely, out of work. Oh wait, that's going to be you. After uh, you try to make a movie with WandaVision. Try to? We've already made the movie. Yeah, let's see if it comes out after Black Widow. Can I go to sleep now? Sure.
Would you like a blanket? I would love a blanket. Make sure to put it over his head because his career's dead. Feel better? Much. Okay, so now that we seem to be getting a little loopy here, let's wrap this video up. So, uh, what do we do here? I would say, unfortunately, if you even if you see it at a relatively cheap price, which this set isn't, um, I had too many problems assembling my happy hospital scene uh, or my happy clinic scene to actually uh, enjoy it or recommend it. Even though the, the bedding is not bad and the curtain is really soft, and as you can see from uh, Benedict, the pajamas are great. I'm sorry guys, it's ultimately it's just not worth it. I would not get this at all. Um, however, the Rement, the new Rement drugstore set, I absolutely would get. It's a lot of fun. And if you can find the toy engine, it's called Toy Engine, and if you can find it, I would definitely get the Toy Engine set. So for me, uh, for Deadpool and for Benedict, I'm Barbara, and I will see you on my next Miniature Monday, which is going to be part two of the Rement Drugstore set, which is going to be set in a bathroom. Ooh, bath time down Deadpool. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Take care.